Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. As promised, I am going to get into a few of the tutorials on how to fix some of our finds that are busted or broken or <laughs> dismantled or you think are no good. And um, today we're going to be fixing the broken makeup that we found in the TJ Maxx haul. So I am going to show you all the stuff you're going to need and then I'm going to set the camera up and we'll get started. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so what you're going to need, you're going to need some alcohol, an empty spray bottle. I like to take my nozzle and just put it right onto the alcohol. You don't want the alcohol like streaming in there. So you want to put a towel down because this can get messy. And... I like to have a couple sponges just in case I want to, you know, need to wipe it off or whatever. This is also how you sanitize makeup, like if you buy used makeup or something from um, off of the classifieds or from a yard sale. You always, always, always want to sanitize it and if, you, if it has a wand or, um, you know, like the mascara has a wand, you want to take it completely out and wash it with your makeup brush remover and let it dry and just yeah I mean it's totally up to you what you're comfortable with using or keeping but yeah so you need um, a towel down a towel to wipe your hands you're gonna need some tools so I have this little um, pick thing it's for putting snaps into my materials that I'm going to use to break it up with and then I have a flathead screwdriver that I'm going to use to smooth it down with and this one came out of that palette and actually worked perfect to smooth that out with so and then I like to have like some q-tips on hand just you know in case you want to clean up an area of it or whatnot so Okay guys, this one only has one broken one in it, so we're just going to take our um, tool here and scrape all that around the edges. Guys, when you think that all you see is pan and you're like, oh, that's not even worth the bother, I'll just dump it out. There's a lot of product packed in here, so if you'll break it up and use the technique that I'm showing you, you'll get a lot more use out of just what was around the edges of the pan out of what doesn't look like anything you know okay now we're gonna go in with the alcohol I actually have another tool here we're gonna use for this one because it's got like a flat edge Okay, guys, so another thing that we can do to make them <clears throat> look more like they just got bought from the store. Okay, so we just put the dime in here. We're going to spray it just a little bit. Just so that that doesn't stick when we pull it back out. There we go. See the difference that makes? So we're going to set this one aside and let it dry. Holy crap, I bet you're thinking there's no saving this one, huh? <laughs> nope, we're going to save this one too. Alcohol and pepper. 
start if you were thinking this one's got no hope, weren't you? <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys like the different levels of how messed up they can be. This is the last one I'm going to do. And um, we're going to move on to how to get the spray paint off of your dive finds where they've spray painted um, all the stuff before they threw it away. There is hope for those items too. <laughs> Hey guys, here it is dry and all fixed, looking good, looking almost brand new. They work great. And here's the unicorn one. Can barely even tell anything happened to the unicorn one. Looking good. So yeah, there's those two. And then here's another one that I fixed that I didn't show you guys on camera. So, of course you can tell it's this one. I also fixed this little guy. He was broken in several places. I fixed him up. And now they all work great. So yeah, now let's move along to getting some spray paint off. Okay guys, so now moving right along, got spray paint on it from them spraying it with spray paint before they threw it away, but I don't let many things stop me. <laughs> I can usually find a way around it if I really want it to happen. So you're going to need some 100% acetone. I got this at Family Dollar. You can get the big, huge bottles at Walmart or Sally's. They're pretty cheap. We're going to get this paint off. I'm going to soak some into my sponge. See that, guys? It's coming right off. Now, because this is a non-stick skillet, I don't want to leave that acetone sitting on there for too long, just in case it was to damage the surface. But I do have another pan that I got from um, Bed Bath & Beyond before, and I got all the spray paint off of it and it still works just perfectly I use it every day if not every other day so yeah I'm just going to take some water here and get my sponge wet because I just want to wipe that down just to make sure that if I missed any it deactivates it so it doesn't keep on sorry about that <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah so there you have it guys how to get that spray paint off of those dive finds with spray paint all over them just so that um, we can show you that it will get red spray paint off as well we are going to do that now Obviously, in order to get this whole thing here, I am going to have to take it apart where I can get behind here and stuff. But, yeah. I just wanted to show you guys that that did work. And hopefully it helps someone out. And they can save some of their items. Alright guys, do you remember this piece from one of our dives? I said I'll either fix the lid or I'll pop the whole thing off and we'll just use the bottom part. So, so let's try to fix the lid. <laughs> so it's coming apart right over here. And here you can see that there's no glass. There's no glass in right here. But luckily I do have the piece of glass so... So we're going to go with some trusty E6000 and my glue gun. I got a couple pairs different size pliers here just in case. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Okay, so we've got this side patched for now, hopefully until that E6000 dries inside there is my goal. And um, it's broken right here, and then this little guy is off, so, so, alright guys, so let's try straightening it out a little bit. And I think that once we get it together a little tighter and better that um, it will probably hold a little better All right, so far I've got this piece on and it's on pretty good right here so I'm going to put the piece of glass back in here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Anyways, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue right through here. And I'm going to leave this one off for now. So hopefully I can get it steadied in right here and let it dry for quite some time. And then we'll deal with this other piece here. I got it in there so now I'm gonna just let it dry for a while 
Okay guys, here it is all fixed. Pretty sturdy. Can't hardly really see any of the glue, so I think I'm just going to leave it as is. It doesn't bother me, and I'm the only one going to be using it, so yeah, super cool find. Love it. Alright guys, moving right along. Alright guys, we're going to fix this one more thing today, and it's going to conclude this video. We're just going to... I'm going to put some E6000 around him and maybe just a little bit of hot glue because you're not even going to be able to tell he was ever broken. And he's so cute, guys. So, alright, let's get started. That matches up much better. Alright guys, we're just going to let him dry. And then we're done. Sitting there all cute. Sparkly little guy. Alright guys, there he is. I don't know if you guys remember this um, cute little glass house we got from a Michael's dive in one of our other finds. I thought he might look really cute in this so that's where I stuck him and you can't even tell he was ever broken and he has a cute little home and he's adorable. <laughs> These are just some vases and flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree and I wrapped um, and I wrapped that twine string around it and I had some glittery tattoos and I just stuck them on there just like you do um, on a kid's arm and yeah so I made those two guys I make a ton of things um, you guys will be seeing a ton of those videos uh, me DIYing I sew I I do all kinds of stuff I'm a woman of many talents <laughs> master of none <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye!